Hello and welcome back to Foundry. And um, we're going to set up some research. Right now we're not doing any research. Let's get rid of this research server. Do I have any more? Just that one. Let's craft a couple more research servers. My crafting queue is quite full. But uh, my goal today will be to automate this research process. All right, now the research servers We're going to put them over here. So we just recently got uh, Igneous uh, for power. We were recently just discovered Igneous ore, and we're using that. It's basically coal. So that's nice. No more power issues. I've just been doing a lot of handcrafting. All this stuff I'll have to automate eventually. I want to go out and explore today. A little bit. Uh, but before I do that, I want to get this research set up first. So that we can have uh, research going. When we go out. Alright, let's get a few more of these servers down. That's a generator. I don't want that. Where's the server? There we go. I like the art style in this game. It reminds me of... Um, Warcraft. Warcraft 3 World of Warcraft. That kind of style. I don't think it's, um, for a voxel game like this, I don't think, uh, like a photorealistic or a more realistic art style would be appropriate. I think this, uh, cartoony style works a bit better. Unless you do something like, uh, Seven Days to Die, where you're kind of blending between the, the voxels so it looks smooth the terrain looks smooth but if you've got this um like blockiness i think a, a more realistic art style wouldn't quite work so i like the the cartoony style all right get a little bit more here uh okay looks good Let's set these to output. There we go. And we can uh, make more of these. Now, let's see if I can copy the recipe. Um, I can use my iPad here. Tablet and quick actions. Q, copy target. Uh, copy target with settings. Paste target. Shift LMB. Copy configuration. Let's try Shift RMB. Shift LMB. That works. Huh, okay. It's kind of an odd way of copying and pasting. I guess it works. Yeah, fine.
There's a lot of little nice conveniences that they've added to the game, which is great. Um, a lot of quality of life stuff. You can hover over a construction, press Q, and it will... It'll uh, start, start uh, yeah, putting that down. Uh, it's like a little picker. So, that's cool. Okay, we got research. Let's choose a research. Gee. Now, I saw two things here that I like. Inventory size. Yes, please. Mining drill speed. I want that too. Now, my inventory... I emptied out some stuff from my inventory. I made these little boxes where I put stones and dirt and all that. My inventory was getting cluttered. So I'm ready to go out and explore, but I want to take a bunch of materials because we're going to be doing handcrafting while we're out there. Oh, also, that guy wants to talk to me. Hello. Expand smelters. Did it. You're right. This will provide a good supply of plates and rods. But given the task at hand, soon we might have to scale it up even further. For now, let's not get ahead of ourselves and just take a moment to celebrate this victory. All right, let's celebrate. Here, we'll make him dance. That's how we celebrate. Okay. Cool. Alright, let's get out of here. Where are we gonna go? Well... I like my idea of expanding over the water. So we're gonna go west. Just see what's out there. And we can swim. I don't think we can drown. We are a robot. Oh, we got the inventory spy, uh, size. Okay, mining drill speed. Go with that. And this is all... What is this? Just stone? Yeah, stone. whole lot of nothing down here. Alright, we're starting to hear... Animals. Animal noises. Birds. All kinds of fauna. Is this just uh, biomass? Yeah, just biomass. Let's destroy it. All this beautiful... Beautiful plant life. Okay, now... Yeah, I have to scan. Okay. So right now it's not explored. I mean, we can see the terrain, but if I want to see what minerals are out here. There we go. Technum. 
unknown resource. I just want to get some idea of what's out here in case I need to expand uh, later. Probably not anytime too soon. Igneum. Okay, good to know that's there. Technum. So, so far it doesn't look like there's really any difference between the biomes. Um, you can find any any type of ore in any biome. Yeah, we've got uh, Technum, Technum in the desert, in the grassland. Yeah, I wonder if eventually we're going to start seeing uh, seeing the biomes have some kind of unique resource. But so far that doesn't seem to be the case. All the plants give the same stuff. Biomass. Sandy desert tree seed. We got the drill speed. Okay, that takes science pack two. Let's get this decor stuff. I wish I could queue up research. Maybe there's a way to do that and I haven't figured it out yet. just sand and rock. My god. Technum. Xenoferrite. Alright, we'll go east and then uh, south of it. There's decor. Now, larger containers. Then I think I can't get any... real research done apart from this decor stuff until I get science too. There we go, we're at the top of a mountain. Get up there. Oh god. Alright, so it shows you the height of the ore, the size, 24 by 16 by 16. Are these bigger than the ore veins at home? Yes, they are. These are 14 by 10 by 14. Out here, they seem to be uh, larger for the most part. Lights. Okay, let's go, yeah, east a little bit more and then down. I'm still hearing wildlife, even though I'm at the top of a mountain. And there's still leaves dropping 
floating through the air. That's a little odd. Ow. Ow. We got lights. Let's get door. Uh, that I gotta explore that little patch there. So we have to go down a little bit. Okay. Well, we explored west. There's some unknown resources here. Some in the water. Water. Um, some of these are unreachable. Mining force one. I guess it's too... Too deep. We can't dig through that. Alright, we'll go east a little bit. And then back down to base. Signs. There we go. Ah, oh, there's a ship. We can see it clearly now. Now that it's nighttime and we got a clear sky. Uh, yeah, it just looks like an orbiting space station. They said we're a moon. Okay, there's the planet that we're orbiting. Wow. Next, stairs. That is a large deposit of something. I'm just gonna scan once in a while. Reveal the area I'm in. Xenoferrite. They have this auto jump thing <clears throat> where if you walk up to a block, it'll jump jump up automatically. I don't mind it here for some reason. Uh, in Minecraft they added that at some point many, many years ago, and I hated it. But here, I don't mind it. Maybe just because it's here from the start. You can disable it, but I'll, I'll keep it. 26 by 14 by 18. Yeah, these ore deposits are a lot bigger. Twelve by twelve by twelve. Eighteen by twelve by twelve. Alright, we're going south. 
railings. Get it. Yeah, right now it does not seem like there's much in the way of exploration other than searching for new uh, ore nodes. Which is kind of a shame, really. I want to find some crash ship to explore. I want to find alien life that I can take back and study. Alright, ladder and then science two. Almost there. Okay, that's a uh, handheld item. So we use that to paint surfaces. We can try that. Signs, railings, decor, basic shapes. Oh, interesting. Okay. We can play around with these door, single, light poles, railings, signs, get all of this going to eat up my inventory space. Alright, get that handcrafting going. Nothing, whole lot of nothing here. Okay, let's go back to base. Uh, last research, science pack two. Science pack two is as far as I've made it as far as i made it in my previous game that i was playing on my own i just researched that and uh that's it so i didn't do anything but uh, beyond that i started playing on my own a little bit and thought well maybe i'll just make a series out of it Back home. Do I have any seeds to dump in here? No. No. Let's just change things around a little bit. Okay, we got this paint roller. What's that going to do? Look at objects to apply color. Not every object can be colorized. Color select. Red. I can't color it. Cannot be colored. No. Maybe I can only color um, decor basic shapes. Yeah, so this is what I used to make decor items. Let's put all the decor stuff on here. On my third toolbar.
Okay. Uh, mode cube. Okay, these are the shapes I can choose from. Build mode snap. Build mode free. Okay, I can build in the air. Gravity is not a problem. Drag mode horizontal. Okay, rotate R. There we go. I made a doorway. There's a real doorway. Okay, let's, uh... Just want to put these down to see how they look. Learn about signs and how to use them. No thanks. Red. Orange. Oh my god. It's not very pretty looking. I mean, it's... It's like one color with a little bit of a pattern in there, but it's really like basic looking. Are there other patterns I can choose from? Ramp. That's a, oh, that's not a, that's a sideways. ramp. Can I rotate? There we go. Yeah, okay. Rotate uh, x-axis. Alright, well, <laughs> this decor stuff it looks like placeholder stuff. I mean, it doesn't look that great. Um, I don't know. I guess if you're clever, maybe you could build something that looks decent out of this, but I don't know if I'll be using it. We've got this door, but the door doesn't really mesh with anything else. Magenta. Oh, God. We can do custom colors. Have to enter a name. Light green. Oh, God. Looks like a green butt. Okay. Yeah, this door looks fine. I mean, that's uh, textured well. It's It's got some depth to it. But when you put it next to this... Oh. I think I'd rather just use these... These blocks here. As like a wall. Maybe we can get... There are more options for... As far as decor. Decor, basic shapes. Windows. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Decor 3, here we go. Okay, these are more than just... flat walls. Yeah, maybe we'll get some more here. 
more decor, but these blocks are not pretty looking. Alright, I just wanted to check them out. Let's uh, shift F. And delete all of it. I just, I want more, like, wall parts and stuff like this that fit this aesthetic. That'd be cool. Am I asking for too much here? Oh, one thing I wanted to check. Can I change the color of the rail? Oh, I can't. How about the light? No, I can't, but I can select the light color. Green. Oh, no. That's not light color. Toggle. There. I think it needs power. Alright. In any case, um... Yeah. We'll talk to this dude. What's up? Oh yeah, lights. Talk to me. Teach me. Are you feeling a little spooked when it's dark? I am. No worries, BB. We can create some light poles to brighten up our nights. Science pack two. We are making great progress. New exciting blueprints are coming up. Exactly as the disaster protocol suggests. BB, any updates on the station? No, not yet. Okay, we'll follow the protocol and continue to expand until you have news for us. Alright, we'll just uh, do our thing down here while whatever goes on up there... ...goes on. Wait, are those pieces of the station floating around? Looks like it's been blown apart. Shodan, are you up there? Oh my god. System shock and uh, boundaries share the same universe. It's confirmed. Okay, we got the science one. That's all good, but we can't do any more, uh, any more research. We need science pack two, which takes conveyors. And building blocks. Conveyors, conveyors is xenoferrite and machine parts. Uh, machine parts are just xenoferrite as well. So conveyor, conveyors only take xenoferrite. It doesn't take the uh, this stuff. Okay, building blocks are Technum and Xenoferrite plates. Technum rods and Xenoferrite plates. Okay, let's extend this a bit. Conveyors will be the easiest thing to take care of. Uh, we got plates here. I can siphon the machine parts off here. Okay. Uh, let's do some handcrafting while this is getting... While I'm doing all this stuff. So I can do the... I'll do the conveyor belts. We'll get those automated. I'm gonna need a lot of, a lot of building blocks. Alright. Ah. Oh. I'm in the pit. 
Get out of here. I do have ladders now. Stairs, too. Alright, make some stairs. Okay, I think I'm gonna need more assemblers. Conveyor. And copy. Uh, shift. Okay, there we go. I was uh, pressing the wrong button there for a second. Now we can make use of our new technology conveyor balancer. Beautiful. Learn more about Palancer? Don't need to. I know what I'm doing. I gotta go over. There, and then right click and we can select a slope down. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on a minute. We gotta be consistent. Here, take, uh, take that, pick it up. We gotta go around the backside. dismantle. Alright. No, I'm stuck. Yeah, these buildings kind of blend together. It is hard to tell where one begins and the other ends. Or the other way around. right? Oh, no, 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 the plates. Um... Okay. Yeah, I was kind of thinking maybe I would make another smelting line for this. I think this is going to eat up a lot of plates. 40 per minute. And a lot of them are going to be needed for the machine parts. Maybe I should do that. Yeah. 
Yeah. Let's get some more smelters down. being consistent again. Delete it. I gotta... My gap here is too big. There we go. Alright. I should have some smelters. Yeah, we don't have to use all of them. Or we don't have to have eight here for a full line. That's fine. Okay. Let me just uh, pause it here for a minute while I get some more miners set up. All right, I dug out some of the area here. We got two more miners down. And uh, I put a light down because it was nighttime and I wanted to see what it looked like. Uh, I like it, except the color. And I don't know how to change it or if it's even possible. Uh, there is, I suppose I should look at the tutorial. Um, flashlight, no. Science. Was there a tutorial on the... On the lamp? I don't know. Anyway. get this ore where it needs to go. Now, I've only got two miners on this belt, which is fine because I only have six smelters. But uh, you can see the ore is... It's lasting for a while, but a few chunks have been eaten up by the robots. Nice. There they go. Oh no, no, not there. Uh, here. Ah. All out of loaders. Put the outputs on the opposite. Huh. Sorry. I gotta match the, uh, the other smelting line. Otherwise, it's gonna bother me. Okay. The loaders have to be on the right side. Or unloaders. Ah, god. Alright, let's uh, extend this a little bit. There we go. No more falling. Whoop. Output. Output. There we go. Sweet. Yeah, I think if I would have pulled the plates off here, that would have been just too many because it's using a lot of the 
the machine parts too, and that itself is going to eat up a lot of plates. How many machine parts per plate? Uh, one to one. Okay, so each one of these machines eats up 60 plates, which is insane. I think I've got too many here. Too many assemblers. Producing conveyor belts. I'll get rid of one. I really do not need that many. And I'm gonna need... I'm gonna need some of those resources for other things like... Building blocks. There we go. Oh, the bot wants me to talk to him again. Awesome. Alright, I'll say hi to you. You gonna give me a reward? I finished your lights request. Oh yes, you've illuminated my perspective. Things are looking exceptionally bright around here. Oh god. What would I do without you, Carl? You are essential to my mission. You keep me sane with your witty remarks. Alright, I think we have a pretty good setup here. It is a little bit cramped. Which always happens in these kinds of games. I try to build everything a little... You know, give myself some space, but then it turns out to be not enough space. But what I have here looks pretty good. We got the science packs, machine parts, and uh, belts here. Now I'm going to put the belts in in a, a box. I have a box. Logistics container. Okay, um... We want to output here. Right side. There we go. Open container. Now, I don't think I need... I don't need to stockpile that many. Let's get two stacks, stockpile two stacks, and then um, we can pull out of here and use them for the science to when we need it. We got to get the building blocks automated first, but uh, we're making good progress. We got another smelting line. We got the conveyor belts automated. Next up, building blocks and science two. And did a little bit of exploration. We didn't find a whole lot, but now we know where some some other uh, alternative ores are. 
some unknowns. Alright, that'll do it, and uh, next time, more science, I hope. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.